Right, I have a little story time about how I managed to do my impression of James Acaster for James Acaster. It's a very cool moment. I went to a show, uh, which is called Heckler's Welcome, by the way. It's, it's basically like a kind of uh, show where he gets used to hecklers calling stuff out. But I thought, oh, this would be a good you know, opportunity for me to, to kind of shout my impression out, see if he likes it. Um, so I'm sat there, it's in the second half. I'm a bit nervous in the first, um, but he starts doing this joke where he's like, well, I knew me and my girlfriend were perfect for each other when, uh, when, when she told me that she'd taken a picture of a horse, a meme of a horse, to the hairdresser to describe what she wanted done to her hair. Well, well, you know, I wonder if anyone's ever taken a meme of me to the hairdresser. You know, I've been in a few memes and instantly my ears kind of pricked up. I was like, I know the meme he's talking about. And it's like, you know, I'm sure they showed a picture of it and then ended up with a haircut like Paul Hollywood. Um, and then he goes, I'm sure you guys know the meme I'm talking about. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do know the meme. And so there's like a brief, brief pause. And then I go, start making it. How the breakdown. Bon appetit. Um, and everyone in the crowd lost it. Really like laughing so hard. And, and James was like, um, yeah, that's what, that's what that moment needed. That was, that moment was missing subtext. So I'm very glad you provide that. Although very good impression, really good impression. Uh, unless you just sound like, uh, in which case I'm very sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm trying my hardest not to pretend that that really didn't annoy me. That really did, the fact that you did that so well has really me off.